Hi, I'm Steph from House to Home and I'm here at the Ideal Home Show to get some decorating advice from Lawrence Roy and Bowen. The big thing about uh, uh, decorating now in the UK is um, everyone's become so literate, which is amazing. I mean, you look at how many people are here, you know, they, the home has now become something that we've engaged with, we know our favourite things, we know how we like things. Um, but one of the, uh, uh, you know, one of the, the, the big bits of, uh, of advice I would give everyone is to uh, don't stagnate. You know, keep keep moving with it, keep changing with it. You know, our lives change, uh, our relationship with where we live changes, um, and you do need to um, push your own boundaries. You know, last year I was doing a, a, a show on colour here, which went really really well, and spent most of the show slagging off yellow. Guess what my new favourite colour is? Yellow. Exactly. Never, never, never stay still. Um, and because more than anything, I mean, if you uh, stay still, you know, where am I going to make my money? You know, but, um, it's your responsibility to buy interior product. So I can put shoes on my children's feet from Prada. Trends are very interesting at the moment because I think the, um, uh, there's a real sense of springtime coming into British decorating. Uh, for, for about the past, five or six years, decorating has very much uh, been inspired by the economy, so it's been a bit doom and gloom. Um, it's been about burrowing, it's been about making places that we feel safe. So colours have been quite womb-like, they've been kind of plums and uh, blacks and uh, uh, purples, and it's been about chandeliers and velvet and, and fur. Uh, but suddenly, I think in the last I don't know, maybe 10 months, there's a real sense of someone opening the curtains. So colours are much lighter and brighter. Uh, there's still a lot of pattern and print, but it's a little bit more up, you know, it's a bit more um, uh, cheerful than we've seen for a long time. And it's colours like jades and kind of tangerines and raspberries. Um, furniture has got a little bit more, um, a little bit more 20th century, if you like. It's a lot less boudoir and it's now a little bit more um, a little bit more kind of mid-century as we designers like to call it. 